There we go. Just lob four grabbers in, keep the draft down. Right. Well, I've just um, oh, jarred my leg and opened the garage door and hit Alex in the head. Good day. Uh, apparently, according to the rain, the weather app, rainy Saturday morning. So we've cancelled today because of the weather app. So been told off by the boss. Not that boss. I was going to say, not me. His mum. <laughs> Should never listen to weather app. She's right, but you still have to plan stuff. So as you can see, we're in Fairwoods, picking up a couple of lintels, sixty-four concretes for a garage conversion. We're starting next week. We're just doing the breakthrough and the lintels for starters into the house. Then the robbers have got a load of stuff to do inside before we brick the front up. Um, there's a lot of stuff to organise and that like bricks and the stone sill, which needs to be ordered. And um, uh, one point, or two metres, um, just a standard still sill, 300 quid now. I remember paying 70 quid for them when they were made locally. It's ridiculous, 300 quid. A lot of money, isn't it? So there's lintels behind me. There's the lintels. So we're going to get these lintels on. And I'll so catch you in a bit. I don't know which video this is going. It's going at the wall or the lintels, but who knows? So <coughs> those go in here, and we've got this here, and I've never seen these before. So be a bit, a bit careful. We yeah. decided to take the top off it and investigate. We've taken this down, assuming that's... Yeah, I'm guessing you take the top off. Gives you an Allen key. And then we've just tightened the Allen key down tight. So I'm assuming that shuts the valve off. Which means we can disconnect now, take the radiator off. And those pipes should be sealed. So we need to get a dust sheet and hope for the best. I'm just do uh, YouTube and see if there is a, see if we've done the right thing. Yeah, so we need to take this off now, off the radiator. <coughs> Stick your finger over the end so all the black gunky water doesn't end up on the carpet and chuck it outside. And you're lucky, don't just do fancy power tools. Got to use our new island keys. That was a six mil. So now you can take this off. It's flexi pipes at the back, so the flexi pipes will be taped up against the wall. Mm. So we can move them out of the way. See if they know where I can start. Yeah, start in the carriage. Let's have a look. So here's our lintel that's coming off. Got an arch there. We'll come in this side of the arch. And obviously, we've got the pipes going up the wall here. Alex is all um, dust sheeted off. And then head into here. It's going to be coming through here somewhere. Obviously, we're governed by this. I think. I don't even know what that is because. It had stone there. It must just be flat. Sit on look. See, I thought that was for the front of the house, the pad stone, but there's a pad stone here. So. Well, sounds hollow. Yeah. Think, yeah. Right, we're inside the garage. Um, a few things about this garage. We've got a cavity wall here for the pad stone. I'm not sure if that pad stone is. Yes, it is. It's for the front of the house. So, yeah, the pad stone's set back there. Yeah, the front of the house comes across there, not here. here? Yeah. So, we haven't got a pad stone here, which I thought we did. Uh, we just roof space here. So I don't know what this pillar's here for. I thought that was something to do with the front of the house and the pad stone, but anyway. This is coming out, because it's got a cold bridge now, and this is going to be made into a cavity wall. We've got a course of splits to put down here with the DPC, and then Robbie and Robbie are going to put stud over it, and boxing all the electrics and gas and the meters, and insulate it. 
then the floor as you can see you've got 40 50 mil there and it runs down to one not even 75 mil at the front only 70 mil which as um, <clears throat> a lot of you out there will know it usually goes from 75 mil at the back to 150 at the front and then what they normally do is put a, put a suspended floor in and insulate it so we we spoke to the customer and we said well there's no room to get your insulated floor in so we're gonna have to take the floor up so me and Alex price for taking the floor out tidying it up fist screen down and chippings on top and then Robin Robin gonna put a new suspended floor in fully insulated blah 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 so that was all priced for and then we had a visit from him um, building control we had a meeting with him the four of us he'd rather we didn't take the floor up he said he did give us some guidance what to do with it but I don't understand what they're going to do with it so we don't get involved with that bit yeah the floor's, the floor's no longer staying in floor's no longer our problem it's for the robbies to deal with he also said across here he's, he's happy for us to build on this slab because it's only a bit of brickwork all tied in and the only thing he requested was we put a groove into the slab so that if any water does track through so on, onto this slab here it'll hit the groove and it'll stop it coming into the underneath the yeah. floor so basically just start our cavity from the concrete yeah take it down about three inches and um, we'll still put the cavity train like we always do yeah then if you step back a bit nine times out of ten if you show that one over there <coughs> window straight into the hole and then make get, get the, the sill accordingly but uh, this customer wants the window to match the front window let me show the front window same style same size so that's your that's your standard 18 under window focus on the goods uh, focus on the goods so this opening is 2.2 so our window is there you go 1.8 so it's probably coming in roughly a brick either side so um, we'll be tuning it out top to bottom we'll be we we'll taking the um cavity the damp. oh we're not do not doing cavity we can but it's a solid wall it's a pillar isn't it there's no cavity there oh yeah the, 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 it's, yeah, it's a solid pillar, so there's no point cutting the cavity out. So, vertical damp, as we always do. I don't think the vertical damp needs to go past the window. No, it's just being the way, wouldn't it? Workers. Yeah. Um, yeah, so two out. Uh, one course reds. Brickwork. Sill, which we've got to order. And two out, brick, bring the brickwork in, and then just do the bottom of the back. Do the bottom of the cavity. Because it's an existing building, we don't have to. We can we, we can go off the existing build since it's already here. We don't have to do the 150 mil. Yeah. Plus, it'd just be easier to do the 100 because it will flush up with the with the wall. And there's, there's no awkward. Yeah. It'll probably be about 125 cavity that's to flush it up because that's yeah. a 325 pull. Yeah, 325. So we'll just make the cavity slightly bigger. So we've got 100 mil cavity, but we'll use the 0 0.32 insulation that we always do. Um, cavity tray, groove, two out, and the robbies are going to build a, a frame to build in, like the normal which is really useful. Yeah. A lot quicker, <coughs> and it's instantly secure. Um, uh, according to some commenters, you're, what, you're waffling now. It's, uh, you're not allowed to explain what we're doing anymore. Not, not, we're not allowed to say what we're doing. <coughs> no matter how bad things get, we're going to do it with a smile on our face and pretend nothing's wrong. Uh, we just wait for Robbie to get back to us so we can start popping the skirt off, get the radiator off. We've got to yeah. And make sure we do not <coughs> nick the TV cable. Yeah, we've been warned. Yes. I said, yeah, I'll tell Alex because he's going to catch us going past again. But yeah, that's the plan. I don't know what. I need to, I'm going to have to have a look at what this is now, so I don't know what that is. I'm convinced that it's just a seating for that because it sounds hollow, that. See? So, we need to be careful because the front of the house, the front of the house goes across here, there, 
but then it goes across <coughs> and goes back that way. Right. So we've still got the front of the house sitting on here somewhere. So we've still got pad stones up there somewhere. That's why we use the 64 concrete linkers. Yeah. We normally just put angle lines in, but not not here. It's too much here, too much above. Just show the front. So you got all that going on. It's returning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so obviously everything that Dad's just said, plus we're just going to try, we're gonna, we've got a rough idea where the door is, so we're just going to see what block we're dealing with, whether it's going to be thermalites or if it's going to be solid concretes with this being part of the garage. That's just doing some clever measurements now. But that's yeah, the that's... Uh, padstone lines. Right. That's the front. So the padstone's about here-ish. That's the actual, that's where the you that there. Eh, uh, I'm guessing there's a soil pipe in there. Ah. You, you don't just build boxes for nothing and then insulate it. So we'll have a reason that after. Right, let's get the skirting board off and get the rad off. Sorted. The radiator wouldn't come off, which is a good job because it's not supposed to come off, it's on a pressurised system. So, luckily, we've lifted it off and rolled it to the side. The uh, customer's shown us exactly where he wants the door because, because there's a bit of a detail inside. So, we've shoved it round, got our measurement, and marked the inside, transferred the measurement to the inside to the garage side, and we have our marks. I'll actually just Open up. And this is the other side. It's going to be an 840 brick opening for Robbie and Robbie to fit the door. And obviously, we've got a bit of a seat in here, up here. So that's our right hand side. Where's the gap that was? And then. We're going right into this corner. We ignore this. This is our new mark. The broad marks are our new marks. And then it's going to give us 730 here, which will give us 600 radiator to go back on the wall there. Obviously, it's going to have to fettle with the pipes. Just uh, take them over, take the plaster off and go over a bit. But that's our plan. So, now we've transferred everything over to the inside, we're going to concentrate on this side first keep the mess to a minimum on the other side and if we stitch drill probably stitch drill from this side as well it's uh, it's thick plaster yeah it's it's fire it's fireboard is it doubled up oh it's insulated insulated plasterboard there you go so I'll try and we'll try and get this plasterboard off before we drill so we can actually Maybe get to the other side. Probably better with the um, multi tool on that. Yeah. But take a take a lump out the bottom so we can see what blocks behind it. I'm pretty sure it's concrete. So we need to the wood. We're just going to bag the rubbish up and put it. the um, the turbo. Is it turbo, not turbo. I think these are the Dorax blocks from the 600s, so we can get the saw roll on it. If not, it'll be a stitch drill job. Sure, take away a longer walk, we'll see how it's going. You know, if, you know, if we are stitch drilling it, I want to do, <coughs> excuse me, I want to do a separate video about stitch drilling. Like, not, not, part, of, not part of what we're filming now. Let's be short. Why short? Because we can't put a video out that's three minutes long. You can, you get, you get, you get watched quicker than you get. Still what's the DPC yet?
Thermalites. Excellent. That's why it felt solid, because it was quickly coming those in. I stick plastic like that. No, it stinks. How thick is it? Oh. About 60 mil that. 80. Pretty hell. There you go, you can just about see now. Then my block. Can I have to take them in? It's not. Cool. Nice. Uh, I think you need more than a multi tool. We we'll cut through half of that. Mm. Show me down the big pick. Thank you. Right, what we're going to do then is drill a couple of pipe holes and get the saws all on it. Get it try and get it in cut as neat as possible. Right. Brew time over. Let's get the saws all out and start cutting this door out. That is thick insulation. There's a rubbish you can't put in the dead Just like we've gone too far enough here. Can't see daylight. <sighs> can't see daylight here. Huh? I can't see daylight. No. I'm going to stay for that cup. Let's see. Uh, that one's going to be rough that one. I'm going to fall off the bloody thing if you do that. Mm. So, what is what we've done while we've been time lapsing? Obviously, doorways cut out. That's 
We've cut a bit extra out so we can get lintel, lintel, um, well yeah, lintels and the uh, prop in. Pencil marks that you can see here, that's where the lintel's going. And because these are thermalites basically, we're going to just cut a letterbox for it to go in, just slot it in. We're still going to prop it obviously because we're going to keep it safe. We're going to prop about there where Dad's pointing and just have it go over here. It's not going to be a big issue. And then each side is the seat in for the lintel. There you go. So I'll pass Dad the drill and we'll um, we'll get, get started. Squish the TV Pipes. Pipes on the amp, inside, uh, inside of the line. Oh, yeah.
got that club. Yeah, and a TV cable. Yeah. Well, it's nice and loose. Oh. So now we'll clear up all this mess and we'll get these lintels put in. These rascals in. I was just putting the beds on, so the bed should go off nice and quick. Like doubling a normal bed, you want. Try and get it up on this one. 
Yeah, we can just you need to drop that end down then, don't we, down here? Down here. Just um, oh, jarred my leg and opened the garage door and hit Alex in the head. So um, things aren't going too smooth at the moment, but we've got a lintel in. All packed up with slate, absolutely solid. Now it's time to get this one in, which has got the pad stone above it, so we're going to have to be extra careful with this. We're going to have to pa pack it at the corners and pack the pad stone as well, so it's all nice and solid. Luckily, we did a lintel job last week and found two full sheets of um, slate in the cavity. So we're going to get the inside one done now. Uh, looks like we need another one in, but that's insulation. That is th that's, up, that's up to Partel. Like that yeah. 100mm cavity with 60, 70mm insulation. So that wall, up with thermite blocks, that's probably, that's probably warmer than 0.18. Anyway, let's get this other one in. weird there because this insulation is so thick it looks like we've got back. It's like missing lintel. Yeah. But they're both in. We're going to leave this acro in tonight just because that one's got the pad stone sitting on it. So we'll nice leave the... packed solid with slate both ends and above the... under the uh, pad stone. Yeah, so it's well packed. Obviously pointed up, top pointed, all that. Our usual shebang. So yeah. So that's ready for the new doorway. Now the next phase of this, as I've mentioned earlier, now it's the Robbie's turn to start doing some stuff and then we'll be here to do the garage conversion when they've when they're ready for us to come. So yeah, thank you very much for watching for now. 
If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, hit uh, the like button. Uh, subscribe. And subscribe. Yes. <laughs> and uh, if right, we're back here. Uh, we just finished a little job early, so we've popped here on the way home. Well, a bit of a detour. And Alex just switched the radiator back on, which we forgot to do. So it'll be a bit warmer tonight. I've got the AP4 sheet to go over the hole. And I'm taking the acro out. Can I get the acro? Everything's gone off nicely. Push. 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 It's not doing anything. It's just twisting the acro. Jobs are good. And what's that's in the bottom? We'll get this thing into place. We'll screw it. We'll screw it up. I uh, won't screw it up. We'll do it right. Okay. There we go. Just lob four grabbers in, keep the draft down, and the, the board almost fits snug with the ceiling. So that's going to keep the draft right down. So the radiator's back on, the door's sealed up, and it's ready for the robbies. So um, we're going to go home now and uh, have some tea. So we'll catch you on this job whenever we're back. If you want to give any other support to the channel, there's a super thanks under the video or Dad's PayPal in the, in the description, which isn't necessary by any means, but it's a great way to support the channel. We really appreciate it. Well, this has been Reclaim Steve and Alex with a very thick cavity door, and we'll see you in the next one.